The Little Falls Historical Society is open throughout the Canal Celebration, featuring a special exhibit of Masonic and Knights of Columbus fraternal organizations. To coincide with this exhibit is a special tour of the Masonic Temple at 1 and 3 p.m. on Saturday. This historic building is the home and studio of Terry Tippin. It was built uh, in 1914 as the Masonic Temple. The Masons had been in Little Falls for many, uh, gener I mean, a century before, but didn't have their own building, and finally built this sort of pseudo castle. It's like a French medieval castle in design, more or less. Uh, this was, uh, I think, done because the architect felt that uh, the original temples in Europe were designed in this fashion, and they came before uh, those in the United States. Uh, there are four main floors, and three out of the floor four, uh, you can enter from the street level. That shows the way the street goes up and down, as Little Falls generally does. <laughs> On the bottom floor, in what used to be the Masonic Temple's bowling alley, is Terry Tippin's Pottery Studio. Her studio will be open on Saturday from 10 to 4 during the Canal Celebration. Yeah, I guess I've been doing it about 20-some years, and uh, it was uh, I've done a lot of art in my uh, lifetime, but uh, I decided that uh, I would try this and make a bunch of stuff, and uh, eventually, after I was terrible in learning how to throw, I finally got a handle on it and now I make pots that are useful and do some sculpting also for fun things. For all the sons of immigrants, the sons of the native land, there are sons yet to be born to carry on the work we've just begun. Well, good times may come and good times go. Little Falls is known for many things. One of the lesser known facts is this. Back in 1940, the New York Central was coming through Little Falls and the engineer failed to slow down on one of the sharpest curves in the New York Central system. As a result of that, the train jumped the tracks and 31 people died. One of the people who died was P.O. Becker. And what was he? He was a toy train maker. It was such a national tragedy that it was covered by Time magazine. And even 50 years later, there was this uh, marker that was placed as a reminder of what happened here. As a result of this tragic accident, the angle of the curve here had to be changed. And that also included having to change the course of the Mohawk River, which back then, imagine this back in 1940, that cost two and a half million dollars. Driving Saturday night. You knew everything and told me what was right. There was day trips and fishing trips and camping in Saranac Bay. Long gone, the innocence. I surely miss those days. While you're in downtown Little Falls, be sure to stop in here to the post office. It has been here for more than 100 years. The lobby is the original lobby with all of the woodwork and the beautiful windows. Come here this Saturday before noon. There's going to be a special stamp cancellation commemorating the canal celebration. Maria Felice, one who brought me life. 
taught me love's the only way to survive. Maria, you couldn't give me more. I'm like an ocean, you're like the shore. I believe that it won't be long. Be sure to head downtown during your Little Falls visit for a break at Il Cafe. Tucked right below 500 East Main Street, this great little breakfast and lunch cafe features homemade food and pastries and fresh roasted coffee. You can't go wrong with anything you choose here because right from roasting their own beef to cooking their own chicken, everything is started from scratch and it is homemade and it is absolutely out of this world. And it continues with the desserts from the homemade cheesecake to the sweetbreads and uh, pastries. pastries, anything and everything. They're all made right here on the premises. And they're made from desserts that were handed down from great aunts all the way back in Italy. It is, I'm telling you, worth the trip to Little Falls just to sample the desserts. The secret of making good food would be consistency, uh, using the best ingredients and have a real passion for what you're doing. I'm, I'm not classically trained, it's just something that I enjoy doing. It's a, mostly a hobby and I just picked it up and kept going with it. And you have a good sidekick too. I do, she's a very good cook. She's, she's had bakers in her family for years and um, her father actually gave me that passion to, to see for food for what it was. And Gina's been a very, very big influence on, on me. No matter what day you come here for the canal celebration in Little Falls, be sure to come to 504 East Monroe Street because there's a garden in the back of the home there. It's called Eden and I'm telling you it's one of the most beautiful gardens I've ever seen and the owners of the property, John and Gail, leave it open for the public to enjoy. So add some time to your trip here to come here and enjoy it. Up into the land of the midnight sun. There I saw the valley, the great one. You know it stands so tall, reaching high in the new blue sky. There's a cold man. We stopped here at Kanicki's 50s driving and I had a good old-fashioned root beer float. And while we were here, we found out that Stephanie, the owner, and Jeff, her intended, are getting married on the 14th of August. They're getting married in the same church where my daughter Susan was married and where we visited earlier today, Holy Family Church. And so I think it's appropriate to uh, give a toast. So here's a, a, a root beer toast to a happy marriage. No, 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 a root beer float toast to a happy marriage. Mm. Be sure to visit Little Falls during the canal celebration. There are dozens of activities throughout the city every day. Pick up a program book available at many locations or visit MohawkValleyLiving.com for the event schedule. Now.